Hello everyone, welcome to the uh, Vue.js tutorial. So today we are going to learn about props and components. So components are like custom HTML elements which we can make in Vue.js and we can register those components so, so that would increase our reusability in our application. So this is a good concept which will you find in other uh, front-end frameworks as well. So this is a custom HTML, like for easiness, the components are custom HTML templates and we can use them so like not HTML templates, you can call them as custom HTML tags, which we can use them for reusability in our application. And the props is like passing data from parent component to child component. So we would make our own props and component and I will show you the same. So first we can create a new file that is index3.html. Okay, so you can create this file or I can rename this as P, uh, p and c dot html so p and c stands for props and components and we can create a new file that is p okay i'll name this as props dot js props and components dot js okay and you can you can also like you can rename this as well and you can type props and components dot html okay now what you can do you can console dot log script added so this would be like a confirmation for you script added and you can create your html page here and inside this html page you can put a like this is your HTML page and you can use this and like what I'll do I'll remove this like yeah this is perfectly fine I'll remove this CSS this script as well and I'll give this as title as props and components props and components okay now what you can do you can at the bottom of your body you can add a script tag and add a source is equal to props and components props and components dot js components dot js and then you can close this tag props and components dot js and then you can close this tag and refresh the page and you have props and components dot html and then you can right click inspect element and console you will see the script has been added so the script is added now what you can do now you can uh, like the script is added now it was perfectly fine now we can create our own component for that what we can do we can move to props and components dot js and you can type first you can type constant app okay is equal to view dot create app and we can close this an empty json object okay then we can app dot mount okay and we can give this a id app so we need to define an id app here so we'll give a div id is equal to app and then we can close this tag so then we can refresh this so view is not defined because we have not added the cdn yet so we can copy the cdn and paste it here so let's refresh the page okay sorry let's refresh this page and here you can see the script added and the uh, component has been mounted but now we are going to uh, create our own component a uh, component and for our creating our own component what you need to do you need to type app dot component because you are registering a new component and you need to type this as my card so this is your card and what it defines it will have two things so it will pass a json object and here you will have two things one is the props props is equal to title 
and props and is equal to title and then you will have a template for the same and you will type a tick symbol the tick symbol is below the escape key and you will return div okay div div and then you can return a h4 tag or h1 tag and you can render the title here title okay so the prop you will be getting from the parent component you can render the title at here using template now let's move to the uh, html page and like everything is working till now perfectly fine no error so so what we can do we can add our own prop so let this be our prop be my card so this is a custom html template tag we are using and this is and inside this we are going to pass the title hello world okay let's close this and refresh the page here you can see i have a hello world and when i right click here inspect element so here you can see okay i'll show you so here you can see that what we rendered there like what we rendered at like here you can see that i have a my card html tag but this on conversion turns out to be this the div id h1 title h1 and div and the title is the prop so title is the data we are passing from the parent component to the child so here we are passing the data title hello world and my card so we can also find, uh, pass some more data that is likes is equal to 25 okay and uh, let the date uh, like likes is equal to 25 and let cat category is equal to let this be like programming okay so what you can do so this is the data we are passing uh, but so far we don't have like uh, we don't have we have not mentioned the data we are getting so we need to define likes okay this would be likes so we have defined likes which we'll be getting and the, the category also category so we are also getting the category and now inside our html what we can do we can use this so h1 is the title then we can have a p tag saying liked by this much likes like by this much likes and people and we can close this p tag okay and then what we can do we can also give a category a category and then we can say okay we can give category and type category so when we refresh the page so here you can see hello world programming liked by 25 people so this is a good concept but how we increase the use reusability yes we can increase the reusability we can create own my card okay and then close the tag and then title is equal to uh, software okay and the let let the likes be 50 and the category you can add category is equal to tech so let's refresh the page and now you can see we have another card saying software tech and liked by 50 people so this is how we use props and components to increase the reusability in an application so this is an uh, advanced concept and will help you in uh, further tutorials thank you so much